new information on a man who was arrested after a deadly shooting in Davie. Two people were shot last night. One did not survive. Local Tens Leanne Murahong is live with the reaction from neighbors. Leanne. And I will show you that Davie police are back here at the home where all of this unfolded. Some loved ones uh, actually allowed to go inside the home and retrieve some belongings. But I want to show you some video from just a short time ago when police uh, came rushing in. It seems there may have been a misunderstanding about whether or not uh, anyone was actually allowed inside the home. Someone was uh, reported to have been inside the home, uh, possibly by a neighbor. Police responded. Um, they were asking anyone around, including us, whether they had seen anyone go into that home. Uh, we, of course, had not seen anyone do that, but we, of course, are busy uh, putting these reports together for you. Uh, but it seems now police uh, are speaking with those same loved ones. They are allowed to go inside the home and retrieve some belongings. Obviously, these folks going through just a myriad of emotions after two people were shot tonight, one person is behind bars. 30 year old Luis Manuel Rodriguez is facing several serious charges. He's accused of shooting two people inside the Driftwood Acres mobile home park. Loved ones visibly upset after seeing the gruesome aftermath in the light of day. It's scary, very scary. Todd Yenard says he heard the gunshots. Like 20 minutes later, I seen the cops all outside mm -hmm. and I, I think I heard about two, three shots. Davy police say it happened around 8 p.m. Sunday night. Investigators say a dispute between family members led to the gunfire. One person was transported to the hospital in critical condition. The second victim was pronounced dead on the scene. Yenard shot this video with his drone as police investigated. It was just a madhouse. Nobody can go in or out. They had everything blocked off. Rodriguez was quickly identified as a person of interest and questioned. He now faces several charges, including premeditated murder. And the exact relationship between all the parties involved has yet to be determined. None of the folks that came out here to the house wanted to speak on camera. The identities of the victims has not yet been released. And so far, a motive for this shooting has not been identified. For now, reporting live in Davie, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.